I found I needed to contain myself. What am I talking about? Well, let's jump into this together and I'll explain more. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this little note box that I designed up in a uh, cutout on the diode laser. So, did this out of three millimeter cardboard, came out very cool, painted it in a gloss black, really looks nice. And again, one of the pieces I've become hooked on these Rhodia notebooks from a long time back. I picked them up uh, when I was hanging out a lot in the Netherlands. Love the country, love the orange, matches the channel color. Matter of fact, that's where the channel color came from. With these little notebooks, they're graph paper, and I sketch a ton of stuff, and I like to save them for a while. However, they tend to clutter up my desk all over the place, so I wanted an easy way to kind of contain them until I was done, and I can kind of toss them and start a new batch. So I did designed up this box and I used Inkscape to do that with the box creator and then added in some circles so you can kind of get your fingers in here to pop the paper out if you need to go through it and it just overall looks really cool a very quick cut now I'll have the designs for these boxes out on the design store so if you want to pick it up and cut some of your own I'll have them out there I also have links to these notebooks out there too I just love these things I use a bunch of different sizes but the thing that I really want to share in this design talk episode is how I took a piece of cardboard from actually I think this was a pet smart box and turned it into something useful and it doesn't have to overly look like cardboard now originally I was going to paint this with textured paint but the can was plugged up so I just used some gloss black I had laying around and it came out really nice and again I'll do some overlays or have been doing some overlays I assembled this with hot glue because I didn't want to wait all the time for either white glue or the E6000 to dry and it came out really nice and used that new hot glue gun I got so uh, yes Dan it does work and it works pretty well so with that again hopefully I'm inspiring you with some of these ideas because again that's what these design talk episodes are about is inspiring you to take something simple as cardboard that you would discard and turn it into something constructive that also looks halfway decent so I could actually see a complete desk set and that's a little bit of maybe of a hint of some upcoming videos uh, that you could do that is actually pretty cool and sort of sustainable um, also if you guys got some ideas for some more sustainable paint or covering out there than spray paint I can't see that being too sustainable or green if you know what I mean hit me up in the comments below I'd like to hear from you guys so you know what would be better or what other finishing options would you suggest for something like this really like to hear from you guys so with that swag shops up there big thumbs up subscribe and we'll catch you in the next design talk video where we design something else cool cheers please click like below and subscribe to the